Good evening. Hello, hello, hello. It's your boy Dougie with your girl Asher. A pregnant wife. <laughs> I feel like I've been pregnant forever. <laughs> Still hot though. Thanks. Anyways, and today is the eighth installment of Wings and Wine. Today's discussion is about boundaries. It's an important discussion. Um, I think a lot of people don't have this discussion until it's probably too late. So we're gonna have this discussion now and hopefully you see this before it's too late. And of course, we gotta do the pouring. Same aerial wine as last time. Okay. Um, we're, we're on a budget. Yeah. <laughs> We have baby to pay for. And I just didn't really feel like going to get a new one because this one still has stuff in it. But this will probably be the last episode with this. But if that's bad, I can't drink it. Okay. Well, we'll find out. And then again, it's just wings made by me with a lemon pepper marinade. I didn't make the marinade, but... <laughs> that doesn't taste good. I don't want to drink that. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it really ever tasted good. So, yeah, okay. Let me dig in. Okay. This is, I think, a Lowry's lemon pepper marinade that I got for it. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think if it was like a legitimate homemade marinade, it'd be better. But, you know, you work with what you got. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, like I said, we're talking about boundaries and we'll just hop right to it. First question. So for me, I think it's important to set boundaries as soon as you're aware of a boundary. Um, you know, in, in a new relationship, you obviously want to set them right away, but as you, <clears throat> as you grow in that relationship, you're, you're going to find new boundaries as you find <laughs> I mean, they're <laughs> the our cats. I told our children are playing on the ground. I told him. <laughs> I told him. They always do this whenever Whatever. we crab on camera. Whatever. Because we're not paying attention um, to them. No, but so I mean, as you know, you progress in your relationship, you're going to find new boundaries. Um, you're with a different person than you may have previously been with, so new things are going to come up that you kind of realize that you're you don't like and that's okay uh, but i think it's important to set those early on as as soon as you find out that you know something bothers you or you don't like something worst thing to do is let it slide and then eventually let it basically end your relationship right I don't know it doesn't I feel like boundaries are not something that you just talk about on your first date um, like you know what I mean like right. I, when you're in an intimate relationship boundaries are kind of set when things occur when thing when you pass then when you pass the honeymoon Did you stage. Just drool? no I spit oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm pregnant and you know what who cares <laughs> Just give up already. <laughs> no, but I feel like boundaries are not really set until things actually happen in your relationship. Like when you start to bug each other, then you know what I mean? Like yeah. it, it's not something that you talk about on your first date. Like these are my boundaries. What are yours? Like I feel like that's something that doesn't need to be talked about until something happens because you don't know well, what ticks and talks with them. yeah 
to to an extent but i mean you know if if you have something that's constantly happened to you then you know bring it up right away like once you know that like yeah. we're, we're together i think boundaries are set along the way absolutely yeah absolutely it's not something that you have to set in stone right like in right. the beginning yeah but again like i said if if you have those certain like things that like will break the relationship then you know bring it up yeah uh, so yeah i mean bring up your particular boundaries as soon as you can uh, but again a lot of that stuff is going to come as the relationship grows into what it becomes why it's hard for me to think of answers because I have pregnancy brain. I don't know. I can't think right now. Really? Um, what are some things that you would end our relationship for? End our relationship? Yeah. If I did them, those would be your boundaries. I don't know, like a lot of things, like for example, I didn't want to have kids before marriage. I mean, that was like something that I always knew that I wanted <clears throat> because yeah, that'd be a boundary. Because that was something that I wanted. I wanted to do things the way God wanted me to do it. I refused to, I guess, let smoke around my child or even around myself because I have asthma. I don't, if, if someone's smoking and they want to talk to me, you better get that stuff away from me kind of thing. So there are more, but she's having trouble thinking. It's, it's late. <laughs> she's tired, so. Hey, both of you. They're messing around, so <laughs> forgive her. For me, just based on some of my past relationships, I think one of the biggest things that I learned in the previous relationships was, you know, I won't be taken advantage of, um, I won't be disrespected, and you're not just gonna talk to me any kind of way, which ties into being taken advantage of and disrespected. Um, I do not allow my relationships to dictate my friendships. They're major points for me because I've allowed th those things to slide in the past. After that, I'm just like, this ain't happening anymore. Who disrespected my baby? <laughs> <laughs> um, especially like in front of people. You're not gonna make me look like a fool in front of anybody. Embarrassing in yeah. front of people. Yeah, embarrassing, embarrassing. Which, I mean, now that I'm older, it's harder to embarrass me because I think it's funny. I think I think it's hilarious when people make fun of me because, especially if it's like a creative, like if it's creative, I think it's, I think it's You great. laugh like, about I'm it. I'm probably going to like write it down and use it for later. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've, I've had those situations where I've been embarrassed, but they weren't like jokes. It was, you know, someone attacking me as a person. And those are things that just won't won't slide for me. Have I ever overstepped any of your boundaries? Um, I don't think if you have, I don't think you've done it intentionally. Yeah, definitely not intentionally. You haven't because you're just not that type of man. Like, and if, yeah, and I mean if if I did, then. You know, we obviously, like, we would have our quick little fight, separate for a little bit, and then talk about it later. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> you know, we would apologize for it. Ultimately, when it comes down to it, in a relationship, especially if you're going to be in a long relationship, you're going to overstep the other person's boundaries. That's It's inevitable, I think. It's going to happen. It's It's not so much doing it. It's how you respond and make sure you don't do it again 
mm-hmm. I think is is the important part. Uh, actually, you know what? I remember one time, like I think you were gonna leave me when I was downtown, and then I had to get a ride home. Oh yes. Yeah. That really ticked me off. Yeah. So what happened was I was downtown. I couldn't drive. I got a ride home from a female friend of mine. That was at like 2 a.m. when the bars closed. And then when we got to my place, we ended up, we were sitting in the car for maybe an hour, maybe a little bit longer, I don't know. Um, just, you it was know. a little longer. Okay, I don't, I don't remember, <laughs> I, no, I honestly, I don't remember how long it was. I know it was over an hour. Um, but you know, we were just talking, because um, she, and? She, that's the part we're gonna leave out. Why? Okay, fine, we were talking. That's one of my boundaries. I forgot, that's one of my boundaries. Um, And we were smoking, Um, not cigarettes. It was one of those situations where I knew the smoking thing was a boundary and would bother you. Um, And I apologize for that like a million times. But in regard to the actual being in the car with another woman, my thought process behind that was, you know, you two didn't know each other personally, but you knew who each other were. The only reason you didn't know each other personally was because we had we had all ever hung out. This girl was going through her relationship problems with her man. Knew that her and I had been together for so long, so and we were engaged at the time. We weren't married. Were we? We were I engaged. Honestly, I honestly can't remember. Okay. Yeah. She knew about our relationship and that we had been through a lot. So I was kind of a person that could provide advice and she would listen, she would take my advice. So when we were in the car, when we were having that conversation, that's what it came down to. Uh, But obviously, hindsight, a man and a woman are in a car together until three, maybe almost four o'clock in the morning kind of hard to believe that they were just talking so there was that there was that aspect there um i mean i know that you didn't think that i was you know cheating on you but just the fact on its own well for me that was a major for that me, was a major overstepping probably the biggest yeah that was a real big um fight that we had that was yeah that was one of the harder harder things uh, but we did we did work our way through it. So, yeah. yes, I have greatly overstepped her boundaries. That was the biggest and probably, I don't want to say that that was the only time. No, uh, but that was been, the biggest. Yeah, because there have been boundaries that have been set along the way. Um, but that was one that I knew prior to. Yeah. I, I wouldn't to, say... I to be reminded of some things right here. I... Um, I guess because I have anger issues, which is, you know, a huge deal with me. When I get mad, I tend to say things that I really do regret. And a lot of the things, most most of the things I don't mean. So I do sometimes disrespect them through my words when I am mad. So I have overstepped like this one time we got in a fight. And I kind of like, I didn't downgrade you, but I made you feel um, like you were a piece of shit. I forget we were what we were talking about, but I made him feel like he was a bad person. I, don't, I forget what we were talking, arguing about, but yeah, like I well, made Well, do you remember you, what you said? No, I don't remember what I said, but I know that... I really did hurt you because of the way you reacted. It takes a lot for you to get mad and for something to bother you. Yeah. It takes a lot. And I pushed that button really hard (laughs) to the point where like you literally left and you didn't say anything. And usually like that's not what you do. You don't leave, like actually leave the apartment and you drove off and left damn now i wanted to know what you said it was back when we were living 
It was when we were living at the Louisiana Avenue, our first apartment together. But yeah, I don't know. It was just this big fight and I, that's, I remember it so vaguely, like your reaction because it was something I've never seen you do before. But I, I, I honestly don't know. Oh. But yeah, it, it really hurt you to the point where like, I thought you weren't gonna come back kind of thing. But yeah, that was- Well, when did I come back? You came back late. Like, I don't know what, I honestly don't know, but I just remember you leaving and your reaction to what I said to you was really like, and then you came back and you said, don't you ever tell, don't you ever talk to me like that. Like you actually said that to me, don't talk to me like that. I'm not your punching bag or something like that. Damn, now I want to remember what you said. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We forgave. And we forgot. Well, Clearly forgot. <laughs> Obviously forgave. No, but yeah, I think that was probably really, really bad because I... I probably went to the studio. You probably did. And I I felt super bad because of the way you reacted. I'm like, oh, why'd you say that? So, I, yeah, that, that was really... I, I didn't like seeing you like that. Like I actually hurt you, so. You know what's funny? I think it was me. I think I made you feel like a, you were a bad father, I think. No. No? Well, I no, forget. You've, you've never, you've never done that. Well, I just made you feel like you were a bad person and, you know. But, um, I think, yeah, when stuff like that happens, I... I just remember it. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll remember as soon as we say cut and turn the camera off. I guarantee it. <laughs> it's okay, honey. Um, We're still together. Yeah. Are there any other times? No, I think those are the two major... Well, for us, yeah, I think. That, I mean, w what we can remember, yeah. All right, well, that's all we got for you guys tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that. Do the same for her and her channel. That's going to be in the drop bar. Down bar. Damn it. Down <laughs> bar. We'll have that in the down bar for you. And yeah, tune in next week. Let us know what you want us to talk about. And please, please drop them comments and give us these topics because I'm starting to struggle thinking of them. <laughs> For real. Help me. Alright. <laughs> Help me. Help me. Help me.